Christian Cage. For years, it always seemed like Christian had potential to be a great main event heel in WWE. After splitting from Edge in 2001, he was all over the European tag team and intercontinental title scenes. He got a brief taste of the main event spotlight when he and Chris Jericho fought with John Cena, but Captain Charisma just couldn't get a fair shake. Debuting for TNA in late 2005, Christian Cage made an immediate impact on programming, defeating Monty Brown to become the number one contender in December. By February 2006, he beat Jared to become the NWA World Champion, finally earning the recognition as top champion that seemed to elude him in WWE. Christian remained in the world title picture for much of 2006 and 2007. He excelled in big match environments, taking big but memorable risks, feuding with the likes of Jarrett, Abyss, Sting, and even his old WWE partner Tomko. He was also incredibly well protected during this time period, going a whopping 23 months without being pinned or made to submit. Christian came back to WWE in early 2009, winning the ECW and World Heavyweight titles before eventually retiring in 2014 due to concussions. But that big run in TNA as a multiple-time NWA champion showed that Christian was not only capable of holding the big gold, but thriving while champion. That's why Christian's my pick as the guy who did the best after jumping to TNA.